Hi folks, it's Noel here again from the Active Newcastle team and we're on a day three of our five ways to wellbeing videos and today we're all looking at learning. And I know there's a saying out there that you can't teach an old dog new tricks but I disagree with that and think you can learn new skills, new talents throughout your life. Continued learning throughout your life can actually enhance things like your, your self-confidence and your feeling of well-being and your self-esteem, but it can also encourage social interaction and lead with a, live a more active life, which are two of the areas we've already covered this week, so that shows there's a little bit overlap between the different ways to well-being as well. There's also some anecdotal evidence out there that engaging in educational activities can help with things like depression and your mental health, so lots of reasons there why we should be learning new skills. Now, as we're going through social isolation, obviously there's a lot of worries, a lot of fears around there, but we've also got to look for some positives. And one of those is that we'll have a lot more, most will have a lot more spare time on our hands than we normally do. And in the past, that's always potentially been a barrier to going out there and learning new skills. So let's put this time to good use and use this time to learn some new skills or revisit some old skills we maybe used to do in our younger days that we've just stopped doing. So there's loads of different ways we can do this. Um, my advice would be find something that you're going to find fun and enjoyable or is going to be quite a practical use to you. And there's loads of different things out there, but some of the examples we could use are maybe learning how to cook some healthy meals. So during the week when you're, you're cooking, we're getting some good nutritional intake going in there and things like that. It could be starting up a DIY project, maybe in the garden, something like that. How many times have there been a job we've wanted to do or had to do and we've put off because we haven't had time? Maybe now's the time to start that. We could look online and sign up for some online learning courses or, you know, at, at some local colleges and things like that. Again, find something you're interested in. Could it be learn a new language? Could it look into local history? Have a look and see what courses are available to you. Try some new hobbies, some things that you, you've never tried before. I thought, well, I wouldn't mind doing that, but I've never ha uh, found the time. Could that be painting? Could it be writing a blog? Could it be putting a photo book together? That type of thing. We could even do some family-based learning, do things together as a family. And like I say, have a bit of fun. Could we learn a dance routine? Could we learn a song as a family? And if you do something great like that, why not upload the videos on here for what all to see? And just to practice what you preach, I'm going to learn something as well. This is something I've been saying for years I was going to do and never actually got around. We never found the time. And like I say, there's no excuse for me now. So what I'm looking to do over the next few weeks, I don't know if you can see this, is learn how to play the harmonica. As you can see, having a clue at the minute, but how about I revisit you in four or five weeks and hopefully show all the progress I've made on here and maybe it'll give you a little tune or so. So, hope you found that useful, but learn new skills, revisit some old stuff, use that time wisely, use it to benefit yourself and your family. Okay, thanks folks, see you later.